Morning, Mr. Morgan. Good morning. You all right? Yes, thank you. Did you sleep well? Not too bad, thank you. You look very tired. Well, that's because you got me up at <laughs> silly o'clock. It's not. It's like nine o'clock, isn't it? <laughs> True. Enjoy your cuppa. Just show you our little view out of the our window. Over to the fishing lakes. Lakes is only one, isn't there? And the hobbit houses. Yeah, if you, you can just see the hobbit house just on the well, there's three hobbit houses. There's three, but you can just see one from here. Yeah. And over there is one of the hobbits that live in it. <laughs> so there's movement in the camp and the sun is shining. Beautiful day. Isn't yes. It? And you can smell bacon everywhere. That's the lovely thing about camping, isn't it? Everyone's up cooking their bacon on their barbecues. Well, apart from us. Well, we haven't started ours yet, but you can still smell bacon, can't you? so lovely about camping as well just listen well obviously you can hear Paul because you don't stop talking but otherwise it's just so peaceful if you want a chilled out break then uh, get yourself a motel or a tent or anything you can sleep in and head to a campsite because it is just uh, one of the most relaxing things we do so let's introduce you to our new travelling companion. You met Holly and Sky if you watched our Luxor. Two, two new travel companions. Two new travel companions. Oh, and Uncle Dean. <laughs> yeah, so this is. This is Charles. Hello, Charles. <laughs> yeah, and that's Holly's brother, isn't it? It is indeed. Yeah. So if you remember Holly from uh, Luxor, Holly and Sky. Say, say hello, Holes. There we are. And here's little Sky. Morning, Sky Pie. You say morning. <laughs> so, the first course breakfast this morning, Owls treated us to some Tunnocks tea cakes. Mm. There's a big reveal. <laughs> it's like a big marshmallow, is it? Yeah. I don't think you'd like your Don't you? No. <laughs> Does that mean you want mine? I like that. After consuming an excellent breakfast prepared by Chef Alan, it was time to do a few jobs around the camp before a stroll into Pembridge. I'll stop it up his water. Jobs to That's, do. Yeah. It's handy having the tap here, isn't yeah. it? Really, really good. You don't always get that on uh, campsites, um, but it is a real bonus ball, isn't it? So here we go, Paul's favourite uh, chore. Emptying the toilets. Now, uh, if you want the full discussion about toileting, <laughs> then do visit our Luxor Caravan Park um, vlogs because we show you how the toilet works, etc. and what you need to do to maintain it. The pool's off too. If you can see over there, there's a, a building, brain building, and there's emptying facilities over there. So not too far, is it, Paulie Morgan? No, not at all. One tip for all was uh, come over to I mean, as you Paul walking off in the distance, the guys come over and ask us if we've got a starter pack. Because his car won't start, so Paul always carries a starter pack just in case. So we're off to Pembridge. Yes, uh, first outing of the day, and it's uh, we're hoping it's quite close because we've actually passed the village of Pembridge sign to get into here. So uh, we're going to go for a stroll, we'll see what we come across. We'll show you how far it is yeah, and yeah. Uh, show you around Pembridge. It's, the rain is holding off, it's so holding we're off. hopeful, aren't we? Yes. So, um, so, yeah, so let's go. So, Nat and I are taking the scenic route via the uh, fishing lake. Ah, oh, look at them. They're fab companions, aren't they, old Nat and Al? And we've got Uncle Dean with us as well, haven't we? This time, really nice to spend time with family. Well, he is, we always call him Uncle Dean, don't we? But yes, you He's he, my brother. He is your brother, and he's fun too. So here is the shower block. 
which the boys have just nipped in for a quick wazzle before we leave. Talk of the devil. <laughs> so obviously got no sport and all stuff to do locally. Family bathrooms, disabled rooms and the ladies. So decent size. And hair dryers. Looks nice and clean actually. And the men's good, Paulie? Yeah, I'm sure. Paulie, take you to a... Into PP Town. <laughs> see here, four sinks. Plenty of city downs. So you got the urinals there. And then the morning showers here. You actually got some just little washrooms there as well. Plenty of room all cleaning up together, very nice. Yeah. yeah, and just on here, there is a butcher's um, here where you can order meat boxes. And also quite famous is the Black and White Village Trail, um, which you can see here. The walk from our camper to the end of the drive takes about 10 minutes. This is where you'll also find the shop and the reception area. You know, we've been talking about gas that um, you get butane or propane. Here you can see the difference. And which one was the hotter one, Paul? It was the propane, wasn't it? The propane, the red ones, are the ones that burn hotter. Yeah. And also, um, there's a difference in the freezing temperature of them as well. So if you do a lot of stuff over the winter, one. Which one freezes out? Butane freezes, propane. Yeah. So propane is the one to, to have them really because it yeah. gets hotter and it doesn't freeze. Yeah. So why do we have butane, Paulie Morgan? It's just a lot of people seem to because I think um, it's like a it's a, deemed as a sort of a cleaner gas to use than the, than, oh, okay. the, than the red bottles. But obviously, I think we'll be going red though, won't we? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, cool. So here's the shop and um, reception. Where uh, when we got here, obviously Nat and Al had already been here, but there is a book if it is closed that you fill in here and it has your details. Well, not your details. Obviously, it has all the information that you need. Um, obviously, with social distancing at the moment, they want to make sure that uh, it's all adhered to. So we're all still on our way to Pembridge, and we're just on the main road now where we came in. So it's not a huge walk from the site actually to the main road. So here we are. Welcome to Pembridge. The North Herefordshire village of Pembridge can be found around 6 miles from Lempster and 20 miles from the Welsh border. Pembridge is the jewel in the crown of the Black and White Village Trail. The Black and White Trail, as the name suggests, is characterised by a large number of timbered and half-timbered houses, some dating back to medieval times. The circular trail is around 40 miles long. For more information, click the link in the description. So, for a change, we've stopped at a pub. <laughs> Well, that's true. We're sat in the Red Lion, aren't we? Outside in the garden, in quaint Pembridge. Say hello, Nat and Al. <laughs> Must say, it's a very, very pretty village, but it's a very, very busy road, isn't it? Loads of lorries that come past, which is a bit of a shame for the noise, but hey ho, can't complain. Even though you just did. Oh, even though I just <laughs> did, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, lorry, lorry, lorry. Here we go, look. Lorry. So not very quiet. <laughs> but nice all the same. Just up the road from the Red Lion is the New Inn. Now this is a pub with a story to tell. 
The new inn is believed to be the oldest new inn in England. From a farmhouse to a courthouse and even a prison, the new inn has had many guises over the years. On top of all this, the new inn is also believed to be haunted by two ghosts. One is believed to be a young woman awaiting the return of a lover who'd gone off to war. And the other ghost, rather ironically, is believed to be a soldier, resplendent in a scarlet tunic, carrying a sword and sometimes beating a drum. These two ghosts have never been seen at the same time, but you can only hope that one day their paths will cross. In all our travels, this is probably the most interesting pub we've ever come across, and typically, the day we visited, it was closed. We'd love to see the inside of this fantastic old pub, so it seems like a return visit is definitely in order. Just up from the entrance of the new inn, you'll find some stone steps that lead you into the grounds of St Mary's Church. Dating back to the early 13th century, St Mary's Church is believed to have one of the oldest timber bell towers in the country. The bell tower has undergone many restorations, so when we say it's one of the oldest, maybe it's a bit like Trigger's Broom. If you are in Pembridge, a visit to Ye Old Shop is a must. It's just like somebody's opened a general store in their own living room. From vegetables to alcohol and everything in between, they've got it all here. On the opposite side of the road to the shop is the Delicatessen. And I think you all know how much I love cake, so that was definitely going to be a must for me. Armed with all our goodies, we headed off back to the campsite. So we've had a fab time in Pembridge and we couldn't help ourselves but buy a few little, uh, would you call them delicatessens? We didn't buy any delicatessens, <laughs> we bought some stuff from the delicatessens. <laughs> yeah, we've got that sort of uh, fun, have we? No. So what do we get, Paulie we've Morgan? Got bag number one, because I think the barbecue might have to be going on. We've got some salt and pepper fresh rolls to go with. What? Stuff to go in them, cheeseburgers <laughs> and stuff. And then in uh, this box here, I think she might have sell a tape to more that. Let's have a look. Ooh, a piece mm, of Victoria, Victoria sponge. sponge. And then we've got a Toblerone. Who put the Toblerone in? <laughs> oh! <laughs> we've got <sighs> some strawberries. Ooh. We've got some sweet apple chutney. Oh. And a bag of mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> and then in here um. we've got this is sort of taped down. But don't worry, do you know what's in there? I do, but I'm gonna show you. We've got some another oh, piece of Victoria sponge <gasps> and carrot, carrot cake. cake. So no wonder we're a little bit um, weebly, uh, Paul. In here, yeah. we've got scones. five fruit scones. And or scones. With, or scones, but I'm saying scones. And to go with it, we've got some clotted cream. Yes. Some jam. Oh. And then in here, we've got some this chocolate way. tiffin oh. and some walnut and oh. coffee cake. There is a... We are travelling with 25 people. <laughs> and then in here oh. we've got more oh, carrot, carrot cake. cake. And then according to Carol, we are leaving the best till last. So we thought we ought to have a healthy option at the end. No, nobody <laughs> thought that, only you. My favourite. A cabbage. A cabbage. Oh, I love cabbage. And a cauliflower. Yeah. There we are. So that's our um, little. Um... So that's Carol's. <laughs> that's mine. So, if you've been following us for a while, we know a partial to a snooze. 
Paul Mulligan says, but today... <laughs> yes, I'm enjoying Paul Mulligan. Sno- Mulligan. Snow's fever struck both of us. Yeah. <laughs> so we're off down to the fishing lake to find Alan Green. Uh, so uh, here we go. He's hiding behind a rubber ring. Is he sat on it? <laughs> Just for safety. Oh, tis him. Let's see, uh, he's bent me. <laughs> Evening! Any luck? No. <laughs> oh, at all? Oh dear. Well, we'll have to go back to bed, don't we? Yeah. No. <laughs> so, here are the fishing rules, if you can see. I'm not going to read them all out to you because you can obviously read them. But to fish here is a full day, it's five pound, half day four pound, and if you're looking for a week, it's 25 pound. With Al and Charlie yeah, concentrating so. hard on their fishing, we pop back to the camper van it's to get some really. supplies. So, 16 hours later, any luck, Al? No. Hand? Oh, crack. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Unfortunately, the fishing wasn't uh, very productive and the temperatures dropped. So we're all going into Nat and Al's awning. What? Nat's managed to catch is a couple <gasps> of stones. Oh my god, with strawberries on. Oh, well done, Nat. Well, you were offered some, but... Uh, I know, I'm, I'm fed enough. Do you want some Deans? Yeah, and Deans. <laughs> And uh, Instagram manager looks like he's busy. Oh, busy, busy, mate. I was busy, you know me. <laughs> so that's the end of our first full day at Townsend. Yes, we had a lovely time. Um, Al, Al did, didn't find no, anything. No, he didn't. It's not called finding fish, and it's called catching fish. <laughs> yes, I know. Finding them is not the key. We knew yes. where they was. They but I learned something. Well, I learned that, that sweet corn and spam is what fish like, but they didn't like that today. They did didn't they? like it today, no. no. So we'll hope that Al has better luck tomorrow. Maybe they wanted a cake or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if that would work. And also, we spotted Jupiter earlier, because Al's got on his phone. He might not be able to find fish, but he's yes. got an app on his phone that tells you what stars are. And I said, that's very bright, that star. And it was actually Jupiter. Mm, so, so there um, you are. He's a better astronomer than he astronomer. is a astronomer <laughs> than he is a fisherman. <laughs> oh, but still, great company tonight yeah, when we're doing that. Now we just had a bit of banter, and now we're off to to nine nights. Yeah, because it's uh, what is it like what, ten quarter, quarter past three in the morning? Because <laughs> we're party party. No, it's, no, it's ten, 10 past ten. <laughs> So, there we are. So we will see you tomorrow. Yes. So good night. We're looking forward to it as much as um, no, who? As I am. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, I didn't even know what I was trying to say. No, huh? I don't know, mate. Okay. Anyway, yeah. so good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe.